Chapter 956, Baba Baba Big News! Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Pod D Cast. I'm the best guy ever, and we've got give and take. Big news, everyone. <laughs> it is big news, chapter 956 of One Piece. Yeah. Let's touch on our cover page quickly. Before that, the, uh, in, on mm. the Jaimini's box, there was a, a correction oh, made. Oh, yeah. On the first page, mm -hmm. they, they, mm -hmm. they say, um, Frankie actually said he needs to make the boat sturdy to, enough to carry 100,000 people. It said 10,000. That was their fault. I saw some people correcting us. Not my fault. That's you, Jaimini. Fuck you. Yeah. You betrayed me for the last time. I don't know whether it changes any of our discussion about it, um, but it is a lot more than the numbers they have, so... They currently have 4,200. Yeah, Jesus Christ. And Frankie's preparing for 100,000 troops when they're only going up against, what is it, 30,000, 30, I think they said? Yeah, uh, I think well, Lord. this 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 makes it out to be more of like a uh, like a mm -hmm. come on, man, work your asses off. You have to put your fucking you know put your backs into it. These need to be so sturdy. I could see my face in them. You know that sort of like work really hard because uh, you know just to be safe. Rather than I need exactly this amount because I'm expecting people to come back. That's true. It does change that calculus there. Eh. Well, thanks for nothing, Jaimanese. Fuck you. Also, I went back to the chapter. They still have not fixed the actual pages on Jaimanese box. Hurry, guys. Hurry. I'm embarrassed for you. Uh, there was something else. There was something else that there people was, were mentioning. There was a... Well, mm -hmm. uh, the thing they're saying uh, is that Zoro's sword will rise in rank, which I, I feel mm -hmm. like it was already there. Like, uh, I don't think that changes anything. But w what uh, maybe... else were people saying? I don't know exactly what it meant. Maybe something specifically just about, like, the blade becoming black or something. I, I don't know. But we, we, we get what they're saying. The sword will improve, rise in rank according to these rankings. Okay, fine. Got it. Whatever. Um, oh, I, I, I remember that. that. That is related to the thing I was going to say. A bunch of people in the comments were shitting on me, which is understandable. Because I said last chapter that uh, the Nidai Kitetsu was the same rank as the Sandai Kitetsu. And obviously they're going to be the same thing. Apparently that's not true. The Nidai, which is the cursed sword that Luffy grabbed, is in fact a higher ranked sword yeah. than Zoro's Sandai Kitetsu. Which means, why doesn't, Zoro should trade up to the value brand. I, I definitely, and, uh, that's why I was saying, like, I yeah, think yeah. he's going to get that one as well. Oh, but all those emotional stakes. Like, the, it's the sword that he did the cool arm drop thing in Logetown with. Won't that be sad to, uh, to, maybe. to ditch? I don't know. Ah, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Um, although, you know, I forget. It was the, the Shodai Kitetsu, I think, is the number one ranked sword. Oh, and also, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe I went and did a little digging on this since I was already looking into it. I think the Shodai Kitetsu and the Nidai Kitetsu were made by, uh, we've got, uh, Hitetsu, is it? Is he the, the Tengu guy? Um, or whatever his name is. The first letter is different or something. Kitetsu. No, his name's not Kitetsu. It's, uh, Kitetsu is uh, what the swords are named, but he has a different name. Piketsu. Uh, sh I think it's Hitetsu. <laughs> but, uh, point being... Apparently, he had made, I think, only the Sandai Kitetsu, but the Nidai and the Shodai were made by the actual Kitetsu guy a long time ago. Let me just double check this. Sandai Kitetsu. I mean, I thought the thing he said was mm -hmm. um, that the white sword he has and Enma were made by the same guy. Right, but that doesn't talk about the Kitetsu swords. I don't, I don't think he talked about them, did he? Oh. I think so. Well, okay, I'm looking on the wiki right now. The The Sandai Kitetsu is one of Tenguyama Hitetsu's creations. So that is this guy right here. Now let me just Nidai Kitetsu. I just, just want to confirm, get our fucking story straight. This was made by Kitetsu? The, oh, yes, it was made by Kotetsu, ancestor of Hitetsu. So this was actually made... Okay, by Kotetsu? So not even Kitetsu. Okay, let me just, for the sake of it, go to the Shodai. Shodai Kitetsu. And we will confirm if this one is better. Yeah, okay, this is Language. one of the 12 best of all swords. So this one's actually big dick. Has not showed up yet. And it has not yet been confirmed who exactly made it, apparently. So maybe an ancestor? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Might have been actually Kitetsu himself. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Point is, I, 
I, I'm with people. I was incorrect about that. But God, is this discussion boring? Because because of the aforementioned thing we discussed last time or whatever it was, sword ranks are so boring because in One Piece, there is so little way to differentiate a good sword from a bad sword because they mm. all do the same shit. They just slice bigger mountains. And what that's so intangible. Well, uh, all right. This well, is my contention. Yeah, we've had this discussion. We can mm -hmm. save it for when swords are relevant. But for now, the cover okay. page of yes. 956, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Beji and Chiffon have landed at uh, the, the place Dress Rosa. And yep. there's a guy here who recognizes Chiffon as Lola. So I don't know who this guy is, but he might be in Lola's crew. Or yeah, someone Lola mm. has met, at least. So Lola mm -hmm. may have come to Dressrosa um, before Seems to or be. after uh, mm -hmm. the whole, mm -hmm. like, incident with uh, I mean, we Dof know Lomingo. that uh, Lola definitely started her her stuff, like, at Whole Cake Island with Big Mom. I mean, almost definitely that's the case. And then probably she was going from, para or from the New World back towards Paradise that way. Probably yeah. just because, you know, it's easier to go that way. So she probably passed by Dressrosa on the way. But it could have been more recent, too. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe she's making her way back. Good. Uh, yeah, Update so, everybody. Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> if you notice the bottom left, uh, mm. there's a guy dead there or, like, shot. Uh, mm -hmm. There's an M on his cap. So there are Marines Marine. in Dressrosa. Mm, um, it true. is a kingdom. True. So it's definitely not pirate-owned or anything. It's right, just a kingdom right. with us with a kingdom thing and... Maybe Fujitora is here still. Well, oh no! They were wait. chased he, out he went, by the he, Marines. He, he went to he went to Reverie, didn't he? Um, yes, he was at Reverie. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so the, there's Marine presence here. So it's just I I, I expect I, so. I expect yeah. not. I I really can't remember any characters that could be here that he would meet. Uh, even the king. Oh, okay, because like even this chapter has a bunch of like timeline skip around stuff. It's possible that the king and his boys are already back. That is possible, technically. Um, but maybe not. Uh, Who the fuck knows, man? I mean, the the timeline with like after Beji got away from you know Big Mom's territory, mm -hmm. did it really like when did Reverie happen with regards to the end of that? Because I have no time idea. Passed, time passed after that when they got to Wano, the guys. Bro, and then we the can't Reverie even speculate. Took, took a like a, a, a at least a day. Probably longer. I think, I think there was a schedule, like a week or, or something, 10 days. I forget exactly what it was. So, yeah. Man, I don't know. Who cares? Well, like, if we just wait a chapter, they'll tell us. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> but speaking all of right. Reverie, this is all mm -hmm. Reverie stuff, basically. Pretty much. Exactly as we thought. It is one of these in-between. Oh, there's the one other thing that everybody was, was shitting on me for, which was perfectly appropriate, again, about last chapter, which was last chapter was the end of Act 2 of the uh, Kabuki play that is uh the wano arc and as everyone was so quick to point out to me <laughs> a kabuki play has five acts so i was saying shit about like oh we're so close to the end one more act and we're done oh my god we're not even halfway done well, <laughs> probably right. jesus the, christ i did i did read some of those comments one of them pointed yeah. out um mm -hmm. i don't know whether he's more correct than the other people but the last three acts really fast in kabuki plays or something <laughs> no but yeah. the fifth act is like an epilogue mm. like Winds down oh. act, so like the four, the end of the fourth one will be the end of whatever. Oh, you thing know that makes happen. sense. That that feels a little more appropriate because this act is gonna yeah. have the most stuff happen anyway. So a act Breaking three, I'm expecting mm -hmm. like they mm -hmm. they have the whole thing happen. They go to mm -hmm. Onigashima and there's a whole mm -hmm. lot of stuff happening, mm -hmm. and then the battle sort of starts at the end of act three and continues through to the end of act four where they escape, mm. and then act five is the resolution. I could see that happening. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's gonna More be a big. It's gonna be a big thing. Act three and four are basically just one big thing. That's mm, like I don't expect mm. the whole uh, like defeating Kaido to yeah. only happen in one of the the next two acts because what what mm -hmm. what could happen to constitute an act length stuff that does not involve being in Oni Onigashima and fighting. <laughs> Nothing. It doesn't make it. Nah, it has to be. It's all stuff in Onigashima. It's possible. Maybe they'll do a thing. Remember how the time skip um, of One Piece, you know, the two-year time skip happened. Um, oh, sorry. I was like right before the time skip when Luffy was crying because Ace was dead. There was a flashback right in the middle of 
Luffy being sad about how Ace died, and then after the flashback to when he was a kid ended, then him and Jinbei talked, he got over Ace's death, and like, was thinking about his crew and stuff. Like, I I'm thinking that maybe the act, act three will end as like, at like their lowest point, and then we'll dip away for a while, and then, you know, it'll be the, the, the thing where, okay, now, the cavalry joins, like, we, we recover our spirits, and then we launch for the, the true final assault in classic shonen style, and, you know, yeah. overcome obstacles. Eh, could, could happen. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, Act 3 could maybe be a good place to put um, the, the, the flashback of uh, Lord Odin. Mm, could be. Oda really likes to save those for the, for the like, the big smash punch ending well, stuff. But maybe not. I mean, I feel like... A that should take of, up a lot, a lot of time. A lot of One Piece arcs, they mm -hmm. have, like, an important character having their flashback, like Vivi or something, having right, their flashbacks right. and, and, like, their character development, and then they, they make a, mm -hmm. a pivotal moment upon which Luffy then starts the battle and says, hey, cool, now I'm going to yeah, go beat true. the guy up. Like, uh, all of, all of uh, I mean, Skypea. With Skypea, we did the whole flashback as the ending, ending battle was going on, but before, like, the final charge against Eneru, so that we would be filled with meaning as Luffy's doing the final yeah. attack and ringing the bell, which is, yeah, it's the right thing yeah. to do. Yeah. In any Good luck, case, Oda. let's, let's be in, in this, like, actually talk about what's being happening right <laughs> now. Indeed. So we're in the Fishman Kingdom. We got Shirahoshi and all the guys, everyone's back. And Garp's uh, there too. Hello, Garp's, sir. Garp's there. He he cool brought bubble. him back. Um, we still we don't know exactly what happened, but we will be mm -hmm. given clues throughout the chapter. Mm -hmm. um, he's talking about how all those people in the you know the the world leaders, kings mm -hmm. and stuff, they're just a bunch of fucking f feuding idiots. They'll never they'll never change. They'll never do anything good. Stupid Everyone's self interested. Fucking, uh, yeah. <laughs> to dismantle the government, lol, as he sips tea. There's no solution here, though. I mean, the fact of the matter is, uh, life is complicated, people have claims, people have different societies and different yeah. economic interests. It's tough to balance it. Uh, yeah. We're all competing in this he, great world. Garp is mm -hmm. just, you know, he's, he's, as long as no blood is spilled, he'd Wait normally count it as peaceful. Uh, is uh, what he's are saying. you seeing that, that that's true? But are you seeing in that second panel there? It looks like there's like a row of bats that are being given out to the delegates. Like you see those rows of bats on like the side of that panel as they're like picking them up, presumably to beat each other with, uh, including that's, Hitler. That's, I don't think that's literally happening. Um, oh, is he, it a metaphor? He, perhaps it's a metaphor. He's talking about <laughs> uh, like while each country has their own slide, the strong <laughs> sl silently glare at each other, aka. The guy oh, on the, yeah, on the yeah, right yeah. and the guy on the left, they're like, hmm, you know, we're real hmm. strong, but we've got our bats here ready to swing. And then the smaller <laughs> ones fight openly, so the two in the middle. Ah, just sort of like, it they're is smaller, a metaphor. They're, they're, yeah, <laughs> so they're... I okay, mean, un enough. unless there's like a, like, a, like a bonding session where they all get like foam bat sounds. Like, all right, let's, <laughs> let's sort out our political differences with, with soft violence, guys. Hey, couldn't hurt. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. This is, a, this is a mature thing. Yeah, people are different. Yeah. Have conflicts. There you go. Garp, Makes Garp's, sense. Garp's, you know, the thing he says here, as long as no blood is spilled, I'd normally count mm. it as peaceful. So, you know, but... No, but no wars were started, so I guess that's fine. Mm -hmm. But this time is different. Mm -hmm. And he's about to tell them of something dramatic that has happened mm -hmm. after the reverie ended uh, yep. to do with Alabasta, which is a significant kingdom because it's, like, one of the only ones that didn't, like bend the knee and give the sword into the throne. You know, well, they're you know, part of the world government. Swords. They just chose not to become... Uh, I mean, they, they did bend the knee. They, yeah, they just didn't become world nobles because they didn't think it was... Yeah, they didn't go to the... Cool or whatever. Marijuana, Temrubito mm -hmm. life. Um, the Nefarti And, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't go into what it is, and mm -hmm. the rest of the chapter is about other things that happen. Well, I, okay, hang on. So they're saying this incident involves the kingdom of Alabasta. I, 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 we'll get to it. There is something that directly involves Alabasta stated later, but why did, it seems like that, that thing that was done was in front of all the kings and queens and whatnot. Wouldn't Neptune be part of that? Or is, well, or says, is it because they're not part of, of Reverie yet? Because they're still applying no, no, no. to be members. He's, he's saying after the Reverie ended, uh, right after we left, there was an incident. The report came in while we were on the ship. So they were going back already. And uh, right. there was an uh, incident. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll get to it. I'll, I'll bring up my, my concern when we get there in, in a moment. But, but here he, we but are. He, he says, like, the Marines are yeah. doing their utmost to resolve it. Please, I beg mm -hmm. of you, do not fear the humans on the surface because of it. 
Mm, so mm. this is like a like a race racist nuke or something. Some some well, big yeah. some big like uh allegiance shattering event maybe that the Marines mm -hmm. are trying to cover up. Uh interesting. Something like that. So here we go. One week has passed since Reverie's adjournment. We're looking at uh, Pangea Castle up in Marie Joie, or however it's pronounced. And uh, Mary going Joyce. Home. Mary Joyce. <laughs> uh, Hamburger is on his way back. God save the king, president. Uh, there goes Abe. There goes Moscow man or whatever. Everyone's going home. Uh, but now, okay, now we are flashing back in time. There's a lot of fucking. Uh, all right, relax. Well, at time least, skip, at man. least they're at least they're being clear. Like now we go back in time a bit. That's true. That's true. <laughs> So uh, we're flashing back. There's an incident after incident, and we are at WE News. It is the home base of one <laughs> Big News Morgan, best character, Wee president news. of news industries, World Economic News Incorporated president, Big News Morgan. God, he's a fucking champion with his cool hat and his big bird attitude. And he's saying, okay, we got to run some news stories. There's been casualties. News of death sells like hotcakes. Front page Headline. There's your headline. Deaths have happened. So, ooh, what's yeah. what's this death well, that's happened? He says oh. there was a death, an obituary mm -hmm. on the front page. Uh, yep. The results of the co the conference would be fitting. And, then and they said the killer has not been attempt. found for whoever did this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so there's a death. Ooh. There's the results of the conference, which is, uh, we learn later, is the mm -hmm. Shichibukai seven warlords disbanded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the ass assassination attempt, which I would assume is like what like the revolutionary army was trying to do so that there was the attempt maybe mm -hmm. and they didn't f win because all the kings just sort of left and it was fine we just have so many holes in our information we have yeah, yeah. I, it definitely makes sense it could have been shanks i mean maybe shanks tried to assassinate the fucking gorosei i don't know i don't i think have no shanks fucking would, idea i don't think shanks would do something like that i mean that. i, I, I he, agree but he came you know. to talk to them to warn them of something i forget what if there was an implication, maybe there was, was not. No, we have no idea. Maybe, maybe was, wait, maybe, he might have said the rocks. Maybe no, we're getting I feel, back together. I feel like I feel like that wouldn't have been it because Garp was talking about the rocks pirates. I don't think there it was stated exactly what the concern was, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments. But yeah. But anyway, um, so here's here's Morgan. Here's Morgan. We're gonna run articles about this stuff on the front page. When all of a sudden, this guy, uh, the the picture taker man of fame, uh, says there's a delivery from the government. And so Morgan's opens a big fat check, which is a suppression order to suppress the information. And he, Morgan just says, fuck it, take it back. <laughs> I'm not covering this up. I'm not taking this money to bury this. But then this photographer man rips off his face and it's a cypher pull agent with a gun. He says, do what you're fucking told, Big Bird. Uh, so there, there he is. But luckily, Big News Morgan is a fucking <laughs> badass and beats the shit out of him with his bare bird hands. Yeah, Incredible. <laughs> Fuck what, yeah! What the fuck? He's, he's I did he's not his, expect this at all. He's got his like feathery knuckles there. <laughs> yeah, you can his... see they're like dusty from from <laughs> literally beating. And they're like, President, you just beat up a government official. Jesus Christ! God, I love I love how Big Bird from the Muppets lives on in One Piece. <laughs> he really does. Wait, isn't the uh, isn't that Sesame Street not the Muppets? And also, isn't that still ongoing? Uh, it's Sesame Street, same <laughs> thing. They're, well, they're, okay. mu they're Muppets adjacent, or the other way around. Something like that. And so so our boy, uh, Big Bird, just says, I'm a slave to my pocketbook, based. But before that, I am a journalist. God, what a hero. What a fucking hero. Uh, at times, I'm a DJ of the real the world, of the written word. I make people dance with lies, but I decide the lies that I publish. So <laughs> fuck you, government assholes. And then the bird, man, is like, fuck it. Cheese it, boys. The fuzz is on to us. They lift their whole fucking operation off the ground with it's, a million birds attached to the fucking yeah. tea kettle ship, and they fly it's, away. It's a million oh my birds God. coming out of, like, the tea, the, the spout and, and the handle of the, of the tea. And you know those are the building. same seagulls used to deliver deliver the newspapers. Oh, definitely. definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Very sure. James and the Giant Peach. And then, another fucking bombshell, that's King Wapole has just contacted WE News with more leaked information to run. Wapole, remember him? I do. Yeah. Jesus it's, Christ. It's so, it's so funny and cool that Wapole <laughs> is, like, really important. Oh, it's great. He was uh, yeah, just I mean, some he's fucking a... stupid, stupid doofus. 
Let's not forget, kept he lost and... a kingdom, but he just got so good at making toys with his fucking thing. He just made enough money to get literally back into Reverie. That's insane. He's just <laughs> that rich. Uh, incredible. What a fucking hero. Uh, Buckle and Buggy should team yes. up. They, they definitely are, they are should team up. Uh, them and, like, I mean, Mr. Three is already with them. That's a good fit. Uh, I don't know. The whole goofy crew. Alveda is a good fit, too. Any, okay, anyway. So, mail is getting around. The, the newspaper's getting around. Everyone's freaking out. Kamabaka Kingdom, the new home of the Revolutionary Army after it was destroyed by Blackbeard, the other one. Uh, you got Ivankov saying, oh, my God, what's going on? This has to be a joke. Uh, this, this has got to be a lie. Uh, blast that stuffed chicken. This is Sabo we're talking about. We can't believe what's in this newspaper that I'm not saying. Dragon himself says we have to confirm it. Uh, uh, Bello Betty says Sabo. Fucking Koala's crying about Sabo. They can't reach him. They don't know what's going on. Okay, so obviously, the news, this most likely the implication is that this frontline story about a death seems most likely to be talking about Sabo, second in command of the Revolutionary I mean, Army. Yeah, but we don't course. know for sure yet. I mean, it could be something else. That no, just there's, seems... There's no way, like, Sabo uh, peed his pants and people are crying, like, oh my god, how embarrassing of well, it Well, uh, uh, like, the, technically speaking, like, the assassination attempt or, like, the death of someone could have been someone else's death. And then, like, because it's not stated clearly here. The implication is clear that, like, they talk about put front page, there's a death. They say like, they're crying about Sabo. That's the clear implication here, and we shouldn't read too much into it. Because right, that can make you right. crazy and dumb. I, but I feel... we know Sabo's not dead. There's zero chance he's actually dead. Zero. Yeah, it's interesting. I think, mm -hmm. I think what ha what everybody saw would have yeah. been his death, and like he's he's actually alive but imprisoned Could in be. in Marichois. Um The fact that we saw Big Bird like say, "Ha ha, mm -hmm. we're not going to cover up this story," means that in in some sense, whoever was there to report this, mm -hmm. you know, did tell the truth about what they saw. But and let's that's not the, forget the report they had. Nobody else here is actually talking about death in the newsroom specifically. This could be big... I mean, okay, maybe there was a little bit. But this is Big News Morgan, who just said, like, uh, Luffy's Yonko now. Lol, I did it. Uh, like, this could be exaggeration. We know he tells lies when it suits him. We can't fully trust the information being presented in this paper, no matter what it says. So... Uh, I mean, yes, there's an implication that he's trying to reveal some truth, but maybe there's a spin on it. Maybe he only has partial information that he's reporting. Uh, could be a, This chapter is just such fucking, like, theory bait bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you, Oda, for well, doing this to me. The thing, the thing is, I'm just trying to piece it together what, like, mm -hmm. information we do have and sure. what is most likely. Um, because, you know, they're talking about Sabo, Ko Koala's mm -hmm. crying. Sabo is either, to like, it is said that Sabo is captured... Yep. Or that Sabo did something um, that would make people flip the fuck out. Now, if it's I, not I, I his guess. death, then mm -hmm. what could it be? It's. I mean, it's his death or his capture. They wouldn't cry about anything else. What, he assassinated someone else and they're really, really sad about that? That wouldn't be their reaction. They'd be, like, mad or, like, confused. They're just sad, though. So, well, seems to me. Well, it could be, like... Hmm. I'm Bro, just you know what the they're going for. Well, what they're going for is that Sabo is pronounced dead. Yes, I agree. That's the most likely thing. All right. Well, yeah. Everybody's like saying, "Oh my God, Sabo!" This, this Makino from from uh, Goa Kingdom Windmill Village, the old beginning of the whole thing. Mm hmm. Oh, and, uh, and don't skip over his brother Steli, who's now the king of Goa Kingdom, and his beautiful bride in the background. Yeah, and he says this is important. He. Mm -hmm has no idea Sabo was in Marijuana. Yep. Um, m leading me to believe that whatever happened was completely kept away from any of the reverie actually occurring. Like Seems to be. Seems to be. Because we know that there was a fight that broke out between Sabo uh, and his boys, presumably, and the admirals. That We were told that. And I think they said that Sabo lost, but this is the updated information we're getting now, I guess. But I thought that was during Reverie? Maybe it was afterward? The timeline's kind of hard to keep track of. So, yeah, I don't I'll know. Yeah, I'll have to go back. Um, mm -hmm. But for now, it seems like Sabo's dead, in the paper at least. Most likely, yeah. Uh, Dofl Doflamingo's laughing. I mm -hmm. guess he's still relevant. I don't know why. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I've not, I mean, I think Oda just wants to show people all over the world, even in the fucking impel down, are reacting to this news. 
And Doflamingo's notable. I don't know. I, you got I guess Dadan. he's notable. He's notable yeah. in that he's like a marijuana guy. So, mm-hmm. so is this Dadan learning that Sabo is alive right now? And no, no, also... they, they, no. They found out that he was alive before. Did like, they? Sh- they? They have a speech bubble say, "We just found out he was alive. How can this be true?" Like we, as in, we just found out he was alive. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, since Luffy met him at Dress Rosa and maybe presumably back so. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. That's cool. Uh, but then, okay. Doflamingo, Dad, on React. Okay, Pirate Island Beehive with Blackbeard. Blackbeard saying, "Boys, get your guns. We're going to the ocean." Blah blah blah. If they're going to be picked up by the Marines, I'll grab them first. What could he be referring to? Uh, we'll get back to that. Uh, Gib already said, but whatever. Okay, so here we go. So present day. So now we're back in the future. Okay, I'm getting whiplash. Uh, Kobe is on the Denden Mushu with someone, and someone says, "Hello, Kobe." Uh, okay, I'll uh, go somewhere. Now, so they do a secret password: C and Mist. And Kobe's saying, "What's going on out there? Uh, the Marines. We can't keep up with everything that's happening. What's going on?" Um, so the Marines. I don't even know what they're talking about. They're not going to react to something. I don't know. Uh, we don't have the men to do anything anyway. Okay, but here we are. Wano, outskirts of Ebisu. Uh, they're talking about um, uh, probably the the Big Mom and the Kaido fights going on. And who is it reporting to Kobe? But one. D.A. Strake, Marine HQ, Top Secret Special Forces, Sword Captain, D.A. Strake, did I not fucking call it? Last chapter, I said all along, he might be working for the Marines, we don't know, and boom, here it is, confirmed, he was never a pirate, the whole time he was working for the Marines as a member of some special secret forces op, the Sword Force, or whatever, that Kobe is also now, as a Rear Admiral, also a member of, though that must have been a recent promotion, because, uh, I don't know. He's 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 Kobe's he, become he, a rear admiral in like three years. So this is crazy. What he's I th- what he's I, th- I think it was like shown that he was a captain, um, be- I think just, he was a like Commodore? before Reverie was. No, he was a captain. Like, was, like a, okay, yeah, yeah. If you say like so, he was pretty high right, like smoker he's been surging. at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And if he's already a rear admiral, then something happened I, I, to Reverie involving Kobe, maybe. I, maybe it's possible. I looked into it. There's there's very the only thing above your admiral is vice admiral, admiral, and then fleet captain or fully fleet admiral. That's it. So he's right up there with the big boys now. Um, so okay, let's discuss the implications of this quickly. So before we talked about somebody let law loose, somebody did things. My thought was that it was Da Strake. I think with this revelation, all that does is make it more likely that he's somehow playing law to destroy Kaido or destroy Big Mom or something. Again, not confirmed, just my hypothesis. Um, So that's cool. The fact that he was, now some people were saying, it's bullshit that it turns out that he was a secret Marine this whole time. Um, Are you fucking kidding me? His whole backstory, uh, uh, let's let's quickly examine that. Why is it bullshit? Well, I saw, I don't know. I just saw some idiot in our Discord server. I don't remember who, but if it's you, you know who you are, feel bad about it. And I'm gonna tell you why to feel bad about it. Okay, obviously, the first thing we ever found out about D.A. Strake in Chabonier Archipelago was that he was a former, I believe was a rear admiral. And then he became a, you know, a supernova pirate. Okay, um, so boom, you got a guy who used to be a marine. We don't know, no idea why he left. It was never discussed. Now he's a pirate. Okay, cool. We don't know what his, what his history was doing things. What did he do? He didn't do anything. He joined Kaido's crew basically as quickly as he could and probably did some various pirating things. We don't really know. Um, I mean, in order to gain the trust, he would have to have mm -hmm. been, like, fully into the pirate thing. So he's he's probably done some some bad things in order to stay undercover. I mean, but look at at Luffy. Luffy's, like, never done anything bad, but he's still got a huge bounty. The one thing he did that was bad was break people out of Impel Down. He had a huge bounty before that already. No, what I mean is, like, he would have, like... Do things know. against the Marines, or like be a yeah, like cl- a like do things that are actually bad for the Marines in order to uh, okay. look like a pirate enough. I mean, like, maybe just getting into Kaido's crew as a known ex-Marine is like, yeah, mm-hmm. I I would feel that there should be some like um, suspicion there. But if he's in, then that's pretty cool. I mean, this is what like a deep cover agent does. They go in and they play along, even if they commit some crimes or whatever. They they do it for the greater good of you know getting like the boss, or, like, achieving, like, the greater score uh, with uh, being infiltrating some organization. So it seems to me his target likely was Kaido from the start, considering that's who he's aimed for. Maybe th- this could be the purpose of his entire mission, to take down Kaido or the, the Yonko, all pirates in general. Um, seems perfectly believable to me. 
that he, this was all part of a plan, and I'm not even surprised. Uh, let, let's just think one step further. We've seen his backstory. When he was young, I believe his dad was a Marine who left the Marines and became a pirate, if I remember correctly. And uh, 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 Drake did that with him. He was a pirate along with his dad. But I, it was pretty clear that his dad was like a bad person and like a bad guy. So he probably hates pirates because his dad fucking betrayed the Marines and became a pirate. And I, I mean, this everything about this makes sense and is at all. It's totally not bullshit. So uh, whatever. Maybe very few people find it to be silly at all. But I just think uh, it's cool and I like it and it makes him far more interesting. I was waiting for Drake to get more interesting. This is a big plus. This is a big yes. plus to make him cool. He's a member of a special forces organization with Kobe. Boom, we just linked. He's the captain of the S.W.O.R.D. special forces, and he's linked with Kobe now. Instant, like, way to make a character relevant to me and characters that matter in the grand scope of things and have personal attachment to me. And what even is the S.W.O.R.D. forces? We don't even know. Incredible. Super cool. Super cool. Loving it. Loving well, it. Well, I think secret special forces S.W.O.R.D. captain, mm -hmm. like... He's he's the quote unquote sword captain because maybe no he he has a double weird axe thing. Uh, That's true. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, because Kobe is called a sword member. Kobe doesn't even use a sword. So. Oh, a member of the sword. Yeah, oh, I see. Okay. I think that's the idea. That's the name of the group. Um, but by the way, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll mention this for the record. Some people, uh, let, let me get this for you, Gabe. Some people are saying that there's a potentially uh, an even deeper level that we're getting to at this point. I find this mm, basically unsubstantiated. I'll say it's not that it has zero likelihood, but it's very unlikely based on what we've seen so far. Um, we don't, so we don't even know what the S.W.O.R.D. organization is, so we really can't even speculate why it was formed, what their purpose is, because, for example, if they're supposed to be, like, undercover agents, Kobe is not undercover, so why would he, like, that's clearly not the only purpose of this, like, S.W.O.R.D. Well, he's undercover in, in so far as, uh, he has to go, like, even on the Marine ship, he can't talk openly with Drake. He has to go I mean, somewhere I, quiet. I guess. Well, I mean, so, like, like, what are they, yeah, uh, alright. Not all right. by, like, by... His involvement with the sword unit, like no one else on the ship, probably knows that he's in that. Sure, that, that, that's it's totally normal for organizations to have like deeper level little units that don't share their information with everybody. Yeah, I mean the, the police, the FBI, you know, CIA. I don't know. These people are all separated, even though they ostensibly work for like the U.S. government or whatever. So okay, uh, probably something like that. But okay, l look at this image right now. There was a uh, cover page years ago that showed. Sakazuki, uh, the current fleet admiral, with, oh my god, this is the first time we'd ever seen him without a shirt uh, on this cover page. <gasps> he has a sword tattoo. He has a sword tattoo. C could it be? Could it be that he founded the sword and this is his symbol that he's a member? Maybe Kobe and uh, uh, Drake have scars or have, have tattoos of swords on them, proving their membership? I mean, look... Maybe this yeah, is true. Possible. There's just no reason to believe it because there's no positive evidence. It's, it's just pure speculation. I mean, it would make Sakaguchi more interesting because at the moment he seems like the mm -hmm. angry guy who is angry and hates pirates and will blow them up and that's all he is. Yeah, but like we, we just 100% know that's his actual personality because he killed many people in pursuit of this absolute justice who were completely innocent. I mean, so uh, I, I doubt Kobe would be a member of an organization with that particular ethos of kill at all costs, you know, spare no man, woman, or child who could potentially be corrupted by pirate influence or something. Um, I, I mean, my, my, my point is, maybe this is a subtle clue from years and years ago. I think it's worth taking a moment to think about, but you, anyone who's, who's going crazy thinking this is definitely confirmed, you're insane. You're losing your grip on reality if you think this confirms anything. It's just a sword tattoo. Now, if they had showed that Kobe and Drake had sword tattoos like this, this chapter, that would be a different story, but they don't. So, you know, I'm just saying, people, do not overthink things. It's, uh, if this is a secret agent group or something within it, would the fleet admiral have control? I, I mean, it's possible. And, and plus, I mean, he had that sword before he became fleet admiral, I think, so... Maybe that uh, proves that he was a former member. That's I mean, possible too. I don't know. It, it's it's weird though, because like if the sword people are really like super secret, secret, super secret. I mean, secret then, from what though? Yeah, yeah CP zero. Like Drake saw CP zero in one. Yeah, and that's yeah. like a surprise. And they're they're learning that Wano, a country mm -hmm. run by pirates, 
is making deals with the government through CP0. Well, you know what like, I think? Huh, that's uh, underhanded secrecy. And they're, they're also mm-hmm. a secret agent thing. Well, the Cypherpol, so Cypherpol has, is under the direct command of the Tenryu Bito. Uh, they are not under the Marines specifically. They're a separate organization. It's possible that the sword unit is the Marines, um, like, oh, secret yeah, agent yeah. division I, under, I, I, like, the Fleet Admiral or something. I keep forgetting that, like, CP Cypherpol is, like, mm-hmm. a Tenryu Bito thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I mean, and you know, I could I could one hundred percent see it being retconned that uh, Rosinante and possibly Gar- um, uh, Sengoku were also because like they had a secret op going too, where Rosinante was uh, like an undercover marine working for pirates. It I mean, just it would, would very much fit the pattern. I, it, I don't know if that's what it's going to be, but maybe it would make a lot of sense for the Marines as a faction to mm-hmm. you know have their own secret secret society or secret uh, thing separate. Mm-hmm. The, that CP, the Cypherpole doesn't know about because they don't trust yeah. them it, it completely. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. the Marines generally have always felt like potential allies in the destruction of like the the the, the, the high class, the, the Marichois and all that stuff. Yeah, they're working class heroes, just a bunch of schmucks like the rest they've, of they've us. Got a, <laughs> got a lot of good people in there. Yeah, it's true. Like Smoker, so, Smoker will not be a bad guy at the end of One Piece. Zero. Smoker chance. and Kobe and, and yeah. all the Marines will will help the pirates mm-hmm. uh, begrudgingly destroy Marichwa, and that'll be really fucking epic. I very likely, very likely to be the case. That's my, that's my long term co- uh, mm-hmm. uh, call. Maybe at the end, like it'll be a thing where Black because Blackbeard probably wants to like control the planet or rule the Earth. I mean, maybe maybe he's got a different plan, but uh, assuming that's the case, maybe he'd want to team up with. The world government, or Eam, and the Ten Ruby Toe, and like you know, dominate or something. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. So, uh, Kobe's on the way to the Island of Women. Mm-hmm. Uh, ha ha! I know why. I know why he's going. Um, hey, but he's been. Sa- he, they're saying he's going to go capture the pirate Empress Bo Hancock. <gasps> and Uh-oh. this is the next bit of news we get mm-hmm. from the, the the thing. All the people all over the country and the world are, are like. Most of them are happy because, like, fuck those those uh, Shichibukai. They get to do whatever they want. They're pirates. Fuck them. Hey, real um, quick. Uh, you're absolutely right. There's this one guy saying, like, the Pirate Empress, Hawkeye, Clown, ha, they're going to capture them all. I th- unless I'm crazy. This could just be generic. That guy looks just like the drunk on, uh, uh, from, from uh, what is it? Not, not f- before Skypea. They were on Jaya. It looks like the drunk on Jaya who is pissing... I think off the side of a dock, and I forget what exactly he did. I think he, like, watched Luffy fight, like, fight Bellamy or something. Okay, you know what? I forget it. Probably just a generic drunk. But if it's that guy, I'm a genius. Uh, but okay. <laughs> uh, where would... Oh, I guess we'll just go back to Jaya to read. I, oh, yeah, well, I'll have to do that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the people learning that the ab- 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 abolition of the Seven mm. Warlord system... Indeed. So the ones... Uh, who we know of, uh, the ones that are shown in this chapter, are like Buggy, Bo Hancock, uh, Mihawk, mm-hmm. and Weevil, the new one. Who, yep. aside from things we've heard, we haven't really seen him do anything. No, he's just very sort of been little. like kind of implied to be very, very brutal and powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Marines, the proposal from the kings of the two kingdoms who suffered under the warlords sent the conference in a heated debate. King right, Riku. which Luffy was directly involved in. Uh, King Riku of Dressrosa and King Cobra of Alabasta. We were there. We remember. Don Flamingo and Crocodile were using their influence uh, in a not-so-good way to fuck over those kings and try to take them over and steal shit from them. That's not what a Shichibukai is supposed to do. Shichibukai is just supposed to kill pirates for the Marines. And uh, so those two, naturally, are the ones who put forth the proposal, fuck the Shichibukai, and we know that uh, Fujitora and others had long wanted this system to go away because fuck the Shichibukai, they're bad blah 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 boys they got to <laughs> pay for what they did. And uh, and so there you go. Looks like it was passed by a super majority. Everybody was, uh, was in favor of this. So there you go. Very little pushback. Everybody hates yeah. the Shichibukai now. And you know, that that's pretty cool. This is major political change in the One Piece world. You know, they're called one of the three great powers, the Shichibukai, which I believe is the Yonko, the Marines, and the uh, Shichibukai. And um, based on events that we have seen take place and we're directly involved in as readers, you know, through the Straw Hats and whatnot, we're seeing this major upheaval 
in the whole world society of One Piece, and that yeah. is pretty neat. It's pretty neat. What I, uh, without getting into the specific pages mm, and stuff, mm. what I really like about this change is that um, Buggy, as well as uh, Hancock uh, yeah. and Mihawk, have a reason to be relevant in the coming war rather than just be fine. I like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the only time the Shichibukai have been like relevant to the main plot um, as a unit was mm-hmm. uh, when they arrived at the to fight the Whitebeard in, in, the, in, yeah. the, in the whatever you call it war. The, the War of the Best or whatever it was called. War of the Summit, something like that. Yeah, something. And uh, aside from that, like Mihawk... You know he trains Zoro, but that's he all does he's nothing. Done. He does nothing. He, all day. <laughs> he just he just he just sails around and slices ships for fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, out, you know, it's just sort of like he was doing his job a little bit when we first met him, just terrorizing Don Krieg and his boys for fun. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's his job. He's doing it. Yeah, um, but like now, when things are getting big, and like everything's all coming to a head with One mm-hmm. Piece, I like that now these characters who we know and love can you know they're they're more in the game now because they have they have a reason to be moving and and shaking and doing stuff Mm, i i mean i I want to see mihawk doing stuff i want to see him like not sitting around drinking wine yeah that'd be cool i mean who knows so he's just a pirate but i mean does this does this really change that much i mean we see the marines of course it does why would it be a thing that happens if it doesn't well, I'm not, I mean, like, narratively, for the characters. I mean, you could just say bad writing. I'm not saying it's bad writing. That's one reason why something could not make a difference, even though it seems like it does. It's, I mean, like, for Mihawk, in his role in the world, I mean, what's literally what's he been doing, and literally what's going to change? He's been sitting well, in his house fighting pirates occasionally. Now he's going to sit in his house and fight Marines to try to take him out no, occasionally. No, no. What I mean is, like, this creates a reason for him to not sit in his house and to, like team up with Shanks in, like, the, the war of the the, mm. the, the Yonko and stuff, because he's friends with Shanks. There's a Suppose reason so. for him to, to fight Zoro now. Like, if, yeah. if people are trying to become the Pirate King, there's a reason for him to be out in the world rather I mean, than he, just being he, sitting safe in, his, safe in his thing. I You know what? Uh, on that front, that that is true. The incentive structures have changed. He no longer has a position he needs to protect in any way by doing what the government says. Now he could, yeah, now he could literally team up with Shanks if he wanted to, or do all, oh, that, man, I hadn't even thought about that. That actually makes a lot of sense. Imagine if, let's say that, um, let's say that, uh, fucking, uh, Elboff is after Wano, and it's, it's the Shanks arc in the same way that these other ones have been, you know, Big Mom, Kaido arcs, etc. That's the Shanks arc. Like, if Mihawk and him have joined forces, which would be due to this change in the story. This whole change might have just been so that Shanks and Mihawk team up. I mean, for me, that would be enough justification right there um, to do all this shit. Because I was going to, like, the other thing is, the thing about this, at first I didn't really care that much. It's it's cool. I'd expected it coming for a long time because it's been discussed for a long time. It's like, okay, who do we care about? I like Buggy as a guy, but he's he's not plot relevant. Like, he's not doing anything, so I don't really care. Boa Hancock just sits at her house doesn't do anything. What difference does this make? Almost none. Uh, yeah, who else you got? Bartholomew Kuma is already with the government. Nothing's going to change there. He's like their slave. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, I don't know. Jean Bay left. I mean, they're missing like a ton of, of warlords now. There's just so many holes punched in there as well. Do Flamingo just got captured, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a dope change. I think the thing that really is interesting is that it's, it will do what you said and, like, spur these guys into action. B- Mihawk and Buggy being the two most, well, uh, respectively, most uh, uh, interesting with Mihawk and entertaining with Buggy. Because I want to see what Buggy gets yeah. up to with his shenanigans. I am a little interested. I mean, this now means um, Hancock can go meet the Straw Hat Pirates and join his grand fleet as a, a free pirate. Like, True. Not tied to True. the government. Uh, that probably won't lead to much more than like some comedy moments with her fawning over Luffy and Luffy not realizing and everyone being like, what the f-? Like Sanji getting mad, like, oh my god, I can't believe you got this hot dame right here fawning <laughs> yeah, over yeah. you, you piece of shit. I'll he has kill seen you. her before. He did see her that one time at uh, when they left Shabon de Archipelago when she uh, brought Luffy back and he turned oh, to stone that, looking yeah. at her. Yeah, that's true. But still, he'd, be, he'd do that again, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I wonder what is going to happen to Buggy. Like, 
if I feel right bad here, for him. He just got his business off the ground. God damn yeah. it! It's only been two years. Now they're shutting him down. Oh he's, man! He's got his he's got his like pirate crew, mm-hmm. uh, huge pirate crew. I mean, his giants have already left, which yeah, you know, right. that's, that sucks. But um, what he's doing here is like the the marines are here and he's yelling at them, and he says to like his large pirate um, crew that uh, you know <laughs> the joke has always been. That they follow him fiercely, loyally, even though he's a complete coward and nobody realizes. Right, it's just through, he just muddles through and gets yeah. lucky continuously. <laughs> so, I think him saying, we're going to fight the marines here, means that they're going to win, and it's going to be a huge, big deal. Well, don't be- forget, he says, I'm going to fight them while I try to escape, these guys no, will but, fight no, them. That, but that's the thing, uh-huh. he, always, he always, like, accidentally does a really... Cool right. thing that okay. makes his his forces like huge morale boost and they'll never realize that he was trying to escape and <laughs> okay he may okay. even win and this is like this will spiral in in his favor i think <laughs> uh it, you know it, it almost certainly will it almost certainly will like he'll he'll probably win this battle because he's got powerful allies uh, they won't be able to capture him, and he'll look like a god because he led them to victory, and then they'll just go continue to do pirate stuff. I mean, he lives the pirate life. He's He's got a more powerful crew than ever, so he'll be fine. He'll be fine, I suspect. <laughs> or maybe not. And then we'll have funny things happen because Buggy's going to be around for a long time. I have, I have no doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely don't think he's going to be captured and then go to Impel Down or anything. I mean, no, no, already, no chance. It's already happened. <laughs> that would just be boring, so that won't happen. But, but, okay, so here we are. We're at uh, New World, uh, Karai Bari Island. Oh, I think that means flashy. That's like his, uh, his, his t- catchphrase. Everything's flashy with Buggy. And uh, here's uh, Vice Admiral Stainless. Yes, I looked up his name, but I've always liked this guy's cool ma- mustache and design. Buggy, blah, 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 we're here to capture you. Here goes the whole thing we were just talking about. Former Shichibukai Buggy. <laughs> Poor bastard. And we got Alvita is still here. Gets no lines. Also and, and, doesn't look uh, very good. Terrible art of her face, but that's okay. You can see Mr. Three and the, the, the other guys. Oh, yeah. From, yep, yep. The rest of the... Momiji, the, Hachi, the lion, Richie. Yeah, that, that's all of them. Richie. <laughs> Whatever their fucking names are. Who cares? So then Buggy says, yeah, fight him. I'm going to run away. We'll see how this goes down. And here... Okay, now we're back at Mihawk's place. Kuraigana Island. I think it means what, muddy, murky. I can't remember. Shikeru Kingdom. It's this night, Nightmare Before Christmas world. Mihawk's looking very intimidating. Got a very large hat on right now and is uh, looking to slice and dice some Marines yeah, or gonna arrest him. He Ooh, can't boy. help but tremble f- with excitement. So he's going <laughs> to slice these boats. I think that, yeah, the thing I was, was getting at is mostly because since they know where his mm-hmm. house is, he's probably yeah. going to have to like be on his ship and sailing around anyway. I mean, just uh, because just, they're going to be chasing him. That's true. I was he just can't like hide to, in his castle anymore. For example, consider just uh, like uh, Boa Hancock. Boa Hancock has a literal nation like on her side. Like, what are the Marines going to do? Are they all going to like try to conquer a country? They theoretically the countries are fairly small in One Piece. These islands, so that I mean that's fair. But it's a very. I mean, they got a lot of people they'd have to fight to win that fucking war. So. I, I, that's why I don't think very much is going to change. And that's what you know, Hancock says at the end of the chapter. But, okay, let, let's get there. Yeah. So Mihawk will be fine. Here's Edward Weeble freaking out. Mommy, what do we do? Our Marines were our friends, but now they're going to fight. Uh, well, we got to kill him. Weevil, go smash him up in the name of Whitebeard. Still unconfirmed. If he's his son, we'll find out one of these days. And, uh, yeah, here we are in Yogashima with Amazon Lily and whatnot. Uh, they're here to take away the island and whatnot. The Marines are coming. And Bo Hancock is just not swayed at all. Not worried about it. We are strong. We're gonna kick their butts. What? She's looking well. She's looking well. Glad when to see her. When was the last time she's been drawn in the manga? I'm wondering. She may have been on a cover page or something, but I don't think for a very long time. Not since it can't have been since like Fishman Island when, uh, or uh, since the beginning of Shabuni Archipelago when, uh, or the, at the end of Sh- uh, Shabuni Archipelago when she like waved goodbye before the. Uh, I, I think the, time the only skip. thing it could be is like she's reading the newspaper about what happened at Whole Cake or something. Yeah, there may have been some like that, but I, I can't think of any. I can't think of any. Well, that's cool. Well, Good to see you, Boa. Glad you're doing well. Um, yeah. And that's it. That's the end of the chapter. So, a lot of cool things mm-hmm. happened. Reverie is ended. Something happened to... Co- uh, to uh, Sabo. Uh, Sabo, not Kobe. Mm-hmm. Sabo... <laughs> is something and it's real sad hopefully we'll find out next chapter god i hope so um i'm just skimming like 
of, again. The Shichibukai like, so dissolved. I mean, that's a big Shichibukai deal. Shichibukai dissolved. And then, yeah, the thing, there's like a, the thing with Alabasta and then Blackbeard saying there's a thing the, oh, you the mentioned Marines that. are going to get. What, uh, here's, what um, I, here's what I think he's referencing. Now, since we, this whole chat, we kind of out of order. It, it's presented out of order. Very confusing. But um, I think what Blackbeard was saying, like, if the Marines are going to get them, I'll just get them first. I think Blackbeard is going to ally with many of the Shichibukai who were just stripped of their titles by the world government. Specifically, I think Edward Weevil is a prime candidate to join Blackbeard. I yep. think, um, I mean, who else is there? Uh, Mihawk, I mean, potentially, I think Shanks is more likely for him. They're already buddies, but you never know. He might try to pick up Mihawk. So wait, might you're, form saying, an alliance. you're saying that yeah. um, this has got to do with the, uh, the Shichibukai? Like, this is my read. Yes, that's what I think. Okay, I thought I, mm -hmm. I, I think there's like a fourth secret-ish thing that is being said here. Mm, um, the, mm. You know, we've got the Shubukai dissolving, uh, assassination attempt, Sabo something something, um, but then this thing. I mean, Kobe is talking to to Drake, yeah, uh, yeah. and he, he has that bold the thing we were discussing before. You know, even it with. Yeah, it says, what, what it'll, if be that impossible, was, it'll be impossible just... for us to clean up this mess now, even with the combined force of all the Marines in the world. That's why, in regards to that thing we were discussing before, our soldiers won't be able to make a move as we originally planned. We don't have enough soldiers in the first place. Here's, so there's... I, mm, the Marines okay. are wanting to go and... Something about a thing. Getting a thing. I, I think that this... And is, okay, yeah, sorry, sorry. I think mm -hmm. what this is is that they're talking here about the thing in Alabasta. Or, like, there's a thing in Alabasta, and that's, like, the uh, the thing that Garp's talking about, mm -hmm. um, and it's the thing that Blackbeard's talking about, and it's the thing that Kobe and Drake are discussing. It's something to do with one of the ancient weapons. Hmm, possibly. Like, Alabasta is maybe a location of one of the ancient weapons, and it's been Indeed. revealed somehow, or something happened. The event happened after the end of Reverie. We don't know what happened to Cobra. We don't know if he's okay. Um, we don't know if Vivi, Vivi's okay. And True. we do know that uh, that we do we do know that we don't know a lot of things. So, I mean, that's true. I, I, okay, that, that that's definitely possible. I think that a read could be made where the events that are being referred to, specifically, um, because Drake is on Wano. They're discussing, among other things, the issue with uh, Kaido, Big Mom having arrived, and how they were hoping they would fight. I think it's possible that their other thing going on between Kobe and Drake is the whole issue on Wano right now, and things with Big Mom and Kaido. I think it's possible that what Blackbeard's referring to is the fact that the Shichibukai is being dissolved, and now, and he says, if they are going to be picked up by the Marines, I'll just grab them first. To me, it makes sense for that to be about the Shichibukai. And the one thing that does not make sense well, with this read... Well, he says something different on the one. I don't know where you're reading. But Jaimini's box. I'm reading on Jaimini's Oh, sorry, I'm on Manga well. Stream. I'm on Manga Stream. Does it say yeah. something different? Uh... Uh, Blackbeard says, Hey, you lot, we're setting out. Instead of letting it land in the hands of the Marines, I'd, rush, I'd much rather <sighs> take it for myself. I wonder which one of those it actually is. Maybe it's unclear and it's one of these things that doesn't <laughs> translate. Okay, so we, we don't know. We, that doesn't... It could be one way, it could be another. We don't know for sure. But this this one thing, okay, this is the weird thing. At the beginning of the chapter, Garp says, okay, I'm reading manga stream right now. Tell me if this is the same on Jaime News Box. I'm on like page six or whatever. It's just that Garp says, like, I'm sorry I'm telling you guys late. There's something you haven't been made aware of. Um, the Marines, like, there's an issue. There's not enough whatever guys to deal with it. Please don't feel badly about humans. This incident involves the kingdom of Alabasta, could it be that he's just talking about the Shichibukai thing? Because I don't know if that makes any sense. If so, wouldn't they literally have been there and voted with everybody yeah, that, else? That's, that's not. That's not it. It, it can't because be right. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, it says after the reverie ended, right after we left, there was an incident, and he got a phone call about it, and it's regarding the Alabaster Kingdom. Okay, it's so, got to be something else. It has to be. It's the only thing that yeah. makes sense. 
So it's something that the other well, people right, in, the, in, the, in the newspaper aren't getting, because he heard it on the phone. Uh, so, the okay, there's, so there's at least one other thing going on, presumably involving uh, uh, Alabasta, unless something was mistranslated, which is always possible, or I, events where I, you're misinterpreting something. I don't know. It's possible. Who can I say? Think, I think this is like a, a magic mm -hmm. tr light show where Odo is giving so many things happening at once that he's slipping this Alabasta one under the radar a little by having it at the beginning of the chapter and then Blackbeard saying something a little vague. Mm. But Blackbeard is always the sort of guy who's like on top of the most relevant, cool thing that's like an ancient weapon, yeah. I think, is, is most likely what could be in Alabaster that he's trying to go and find if... We, of we know it, that that's land there. In the hand of the Marines. Cobra himself, so. he knew that's where Pluton was or, or whatever. So uh, that's definitely possible. Definitely fucking possible. Ooh, ooh. Uh, side bit of information. Okay, just, just if everybody remembers, back a million years ago when the Alabasta anime was coming out, there was a filler episode of anime made, all right? A filler episode that is not canon where the Straw Hats and the gang discover just another poneglyph buried under the sand what if Oda's decided to make that canon and that poneglyph is actually super important and uh no that doesn't make any sense okay never mind <laughs> put it in the trash why, why would it be did did robin read uh, it? i don't know something something they have a secret translator boy if robin can translate there's probably some other human being out on the planet that can translate too this is my guess, but obviously this is 100% not the case. It's literally not canon, so never mind. Lots of things going on, everybody. Lots of things happening. We'll just have to wait and sort it out. These are kind of the chapters that I love, but they're also the kind of chapters that I fucking hate because all the idiots out there are going to start spinning their wheels and get the hype machine rolling for all these things that are not going to happen and oh boy, do well, I just hate that's, everyone that's why, who thinks things that are wrong. That's why we're here to to, to give <laughs> like the 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 big brained uh, hmm. ideas and you know theories. What? I hadn't thought of that, but you're right. You're absolutely right. Wait, that concedes that I'm part of some community, which I <laughs> I only am part of the podcast watching community, specifically the people on this show. There is no larger One Piece community. It's a fiction. Uh, excellent. Good. Glad we established that. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, if you like, comment, and subscribe, I'll be your best friend. Uh, all right. Patreon.com slash the podcast pirates. Leave us money. Join the crew for $1 or more, and you get a cool color in the Discord. But you can join the Discord anyway for free. Link down below. Discuss One Piece with us. This episode was out fast, and we're fast boys. We do this quickly so you can talk at great length with your boys about facts that are going to be destroyed and made canon or uncanon in like literally five days. So enjoy wasting your life with us. It'll be a great time yeah. for all. All right. We'll see you next week, everybody, apparently, and have a good night. Bye. Bye.